I want to see your beautiful face. Hello. All right, Cam, can we please have a one word prompt? Tutelage. <laughs> wow. Okay, here we go. Three, two. Uh, tutelage, teacher's school. What does that make me think of? Uh, I need to learn how to get this to work correctly. <laughs> For listeners, uh, Cameron and I are in the same room, and we just spent probably a half hour troubleshooting audio yeah, issues. It was a full half hour. <laughs> yeah, because this is my first time uh, giving this a shot at the new place. Uh, uh, turns out on, it does hold not on one work. <laughs> hold on. Hey! Welcome to the hey! Podcast with your host, Ken and CJ. Say hi, CJ. Hi, CJ. This is the show where we talk over TV shows and movies as chosen by our guests. And this week we watched Nobody. 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 The answer Nobody. to who can see John Cena? Nobody. Can't see me? That's right. Can't see me. Let's bring our guest on right away. Yeah, he's sitting right next to me. Join us again by Cameron. Hey, hey how we doing, guys? We're, uh, we're doing frustrated, I think. is. <laughs> you could use my tutelage, so to speak, maybe. I'm yes. very good with the uh, audio stuff. No, Where really. were you a full half hour ago, then? Yeah. <laughs> you're sitting right next oh, to you. Sitting sitting here, drinking a monster, not caring about your issues <laughs> on the audio. Waiting for you um, uh, guys who are both seem to be in the tech industry to figure it out yourselves. Yeah, you would think. Yeah, well, well, smart. Yeah. We tried. Only been doing this for five years and still can't get shit to work correctly. But, uh, well, we'll yeah, you're in a you, you new place. You had to re-hook yeah. up everything. So we'll let you off the hook this one time. I'll, I'll figure it out one of these days. But for real, nobody cares. Let's keep going. <laughs> did you yep, paint nobody else cares except me. This is not a good for the podcast, but uh, did you paint one of your walls? <laughs> no, this was this was the color uh, oh, okay. uh, the previous owners. No, For the I, the people that can't see his walls, they are a nice baby blue color. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe he's Black expecting. Color? What do we think, guys? What color should I paint my walls? Black. <laughs> Matt Black. Matt Black. Matt we Black. Know yeah. Ma- we know it's gonna be Matt Black. See, yeah. Is that That's a thing? Or just a balls? mural of me riding a unicorn naked? Ooh. Okay. That's with it. a some leaf like, over my huge package. With some Jesus flames in the Christ. background or something, too? Yeah, just a, as obnoxious as possible. How about run, riding over a open volcano? A urban volcano? <laughs> An open. As opposed <laughs> to those closed volcanoes, you know. Well, they, aren't they closed until they fir- their first blow, so to speak? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know much about the volcano. It's, it's That's the, the sciencey might. term for volcanoes, too. Oh, man, this one's going to blow! <laughs> 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 Ken said that last night, but he wasn't by a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, open a Twitter poll for what color should CJ paint his walls. Do you actually have a Twitter? I do. I, yeah. I can't remember for, last time. I've before it's over for talking pod. The pod. Oh, for the pod, yeah. Subscribe to our Twitter. Yeah, and please How many subscribe. Followers? Don't follow us. Subscribe at Over Talking Pod. Um, where we're talk about we only tweet now. out what episode has come out recently. Uh, I'm wondering Basically. when the over-talking uh, OnlyFans is coming out. Ooh. I think you guys could really, you know, your mediocre tech skills have only gotten you so far, but I think you could really ro- roll in the dough uh, I, on OnlyFans. I feel like Only you fans. suggested this the last time you were on. Well, I probably did it. because <laughs> you, you haven't done it yet, so what am I supposed to do? Just give up? I know you keep checking it daily, but... We just have to make, yeah. like, right now we're recording over video. We just have to make that available. All of us are shirtless. What the listeners don't know is usually right. we, yeah, we're already topless. We, I, I'm always, always pantless, but the, the screen, video so. doesn't go that low yet. Yeah. Yeah. Cam prefers to Winnie Pooh it, and I, but I said, no, you got to take the shirt off, too. <laughs> I've never heard that too. term, but I'm going to start using that. Hey, guys, I'm, I'm sitting here Winnie Pooh'd, or I don't even know what the term is. Yeah, Winnie, Winnie Pooh'd, Donald Duckin' it. Donald Duck in it. Who who else notoriously wears only a shirt but no pants? I'd say like most Disney characters, which is a weird yeah, a choice. Lot, a lot of a lot of yeah. animal characters. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> Favorite Disney character, Cameron? Ooh, that's a good question. Oh my goodness, putting me right on the spot. I think I'm actually going to be going to Disney World for the first time uh, not too Ooh. long from now. Uh, so. Nice. Uh, but that has nothing. I guess it kind of has something to do with who my favorite Disney character is. Uh, oh crap! Uh, is Winnie the Pooh a Disney character? Is he? I think so. I'm is most he? relatable to Eeyore at times, so maybe I'll go with Eeyore. Okay. What about you guys? 
Not that I care, but I think I should probably ask you guys as well. This is where we need a producer, because I feel like we've also talked about this before. <laughs> yeah. I feel, I feel like specifically Eeyore has come up on the show. Oh, he has, but I don't think it was in okay. reference to Disney characters. But now you're just uh, filibustering before answering the question. I think five years of audio content, we're going to repeat stuff. Yeah. Who is your favorite Disney character? CJ. I mean, at, while we were going through Winnie the Pooh and Donald Duck, my mind immediately went to Goofy. All right. Huh. Yeah! Oh, that's pretty good. What about nice. you, uh, Kenneth? Oh, oh hi, Papa. Um, what oh, is Mickey's that? here. It's gotta be Mickey Mouse. Are you sure yeah. that's not Donald Duck? <laughs> oh my God, we probably lost like however many listeners were listening at this time during your podcast. They probably all just <laughs> cut out at that point. Well, do you want to know who's actually listening to this podcast? No one, because nobody. Nobody. A, but, nobody but you know what I mean when it is out there. <laughs> Oh, now I'm just talking into the abyss because after that part, there's no one listening now. Segway. Segway. Trying to. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about nobody and more coming up on the Over Talking Podcast. Why didn't you take them out? I was just trying to keep the damage to a minimum. Yeah, how's that working out for you? You're okay. Because you don't look okay. There's a long dormant piece of me. Not so very badly wants out. What are you still doing here, old man? I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> I thought I this so. would be okay. The echo is driving me insane. <laughs> I'm okay with it. It adds to the allure of what we will talk about. It adds oh to the God. chaos. I can feel it. it. Yeah. There, I mean, if you if you two are talking at the same time, I can only hear Cameron. I cannot hear Ken at all because I'm hearing Cameron pro- both in it's person. It's probably and, for the okay. best. Hey. <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> yes. All right. I'm bringing it back. Here we go. <laughs> to what? And we're back on the Overtalking Podcast room once again by returning guest Cam. And we're talking about Nobody, Cameron. We're going to put 30 seconds on the clock for you to describe for someone who's never heard or seen the movie Nobody what it's all about. All right. Ready to go. An unassuming gentleman with a family of four or five, maybe, gets robbed. And it kind of lets his uh, kid take it in the face. <laughs> so to speak, with the the people robbing him. Take one. Um, but he is not that. Uh, oh God, you're showing me the time. And Ten I'm, seconds. Um, basically, Puts he is out. more of a badass than you would actually Five, think. Four. Um, three. Two. And I'm not going to say anymore. Four. You always time. put me on the spot for that. You know, like I always like know coming in that I have 30 seconds to explain it, and I always like. I don't like sit down and write anything out, but I like think in my head, what can I say? And every That's time you, like. you put the clock in front of me, whatever I was going to say, I completely forget. And uh, no one gets any good out of what I try to explain to them. Summary of the podcast. Nobody gets any good out of this. <laughs> Nobody at all. Nobody. Nobody. Can't Nobody. Why did you this movie? Oh, I recently watched it and it was freaking awesome. Like... Oh, you know, like there's those movies you you. I mean, you watch any movie, and like, uh, there's times where like you just aren't into it, or you're like, man, this is moving slow. I feel like I was invested the whole time. At least I think I watched two movies in the that like two day span, so I might have actually been more engrossed in the other movie. But I kind of have intertwined the two. Um, that I had watched. So I could totally be thinking that I really, really, really enjoyed the other movie I watched Which with Jason what? Statham. Um, but I don't even remember what the name of that one was. So therefore, I picked Nobody instead of that one. Was this, it was it's, this a re- a... it's a more recent one. He, I mean, I could explain the movie, but it would explain every movie he's in. So it wouldn't really <laughs> do much good. Uh, he like, beat the crap out of people. Crank? Oh, no, no, oh, I like Crank. I like Crank 2, too. Transporter? No, not Transporter. It's one you probably haven't seen. It's newer. Throw uh, some out to me. Wrath of Man? Oh, yes, that's what it is. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, I was going to yeah, say, I've never heard of that. that. I highly Fast recommend, I think I highly recommend, I like them both, but I'm not sure now which one I really, really liked, uh, but they were both good, uh, but that's about all I remember from that one. 
What's the synopsis on Wrath? Yeah, well, uh, it's <laughs> sort of what you alluded to. This could describe every Jason Statham movie. A cold and mysterious character. Yeah, just about every single role he's played. Yeah. Going yeah. Further than that, that all it says. His, uh, the plot follows H, a cold and mysterious character working at a ca- cash truck company responsible oh, for moving yeah. hundreds of millions of dollars around Los oh, Angeles. Oh, damn. That Beach one week. was so good, too. And maybe that was the one that kept my attention more than this one. But they're both really good. So he's a driver who beats people up? I'll have to add that to I the highly list. recommend that one. You should watch okay. it. Add it to my it's, watch list. It's nice that he's doing something outside of his wheelhouse other than just <laughs> mm-hmm. a, a driver who beats people up. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> that is exactly what he, he was. Well, he was not the driver, so. <laughs> oh, sorry. It goes into more detail when he unleashes precious skills during a heist. Precious hmm, I wonder skills. what these skills are. Yeah. He was a oh. very good cook in this uh, movie. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a Guy Ritchie movie. Yeah, that I will watch that. Oh, I like his. His cool. action ones are really fun. Who, who Guy Ritchie is who? The director. I know Lionel Ritchie. Are they related? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. <laughs> no. Um, I will tell you, Wrath of Man uh, got a two and a half stars from friend of the pod, Tyler Lam- Lamnack, and Tyler Lamnack, come Tyler at Boy. me, because that is definitely at least a 3.5. Who is this guy, and where does he live? Uh, he lives in Chicago. Um, All right. Come on, we're going to get our Wrath on and Jason Statham it up in the back alley of CJ's place. I also wanted to look up what I gave nobody. Which I know we're not we're not there yet, but oh yeah, come on, bring it back, Ken. I don't know where to go with this. So actually, I have a, <laughs> I have a quick piece of trivia before we get to the real section. But this movie was written by I don't remember the guy who wrote it, but he also wrote a, another very famous actually series of action movies that are also Called on the Fast HBO franchise. Max. No, do you, do you guys have any? Oh, other you're ideas? asking? Yeah, us on um, HBO Max. They're on HBO Max. I know that the Harry Potter series. No, it seems it's like one of the same. Who may have been in Bill and Ted? Oh, I know John Wick. Yeah, John yeah, Wick. He wrote John Wick. Oh, John Wick. nice. If I That's say it right, again, yeah, yeah. you tell me I'm right. John Wick. I think I mm-hmm. did know that. Yeah. All right. That, those are really good and kind of similar as well. I think there's actually makes sense. Well, maybe that's the connection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much same dude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's cool. We have done John Wick on the show, right? I think we've done the first one. I mean, that's the only one I've seen. I don't remember if I've seen the third one. No, I've seen You've the only first seen the two. first one? They're I really think so, good. Yeah. All three of them. Yeah, you should watch all of them. They're no, I've, great. I've heard, yeah. Wow, episode 98 wow. was John Wick. You keep track of that shit? Our website does. Yeah. Oh, we're talking oh. about that party. <laughs> is wow, it that party? All the plugs in it today. is that party. This is great. <laughs> is it free? Uh, Do I no. have to subscribe? It's as free as our Instagram. Yeah, which is uh, yeah. You can you can check out our Instagram at Overtalking Pod. How much would you charge for all content on your OnlyFans per month? Is that how it is? Monthly subscriptions? One dollar and sixty nine cents. Oh, it makes sense. Nice. He's nice. funny. Nice. He's a comedian. But speaking of someone else who's a comedian, Bob Odenkirk stars Thank in this you. movie. Thank uh, oh, you. He plays no, it very straight. He is not funny in this. Yes. Uh, you no, know, it's fu- what's funny. <laughs> Uh, like I didn't really know he was like his more. He, I know Bob Odenkirk from Better Call Saul and uh, Breaking Bad, uh, but I didn't really know he was a sketch comedy artist. Like, from where do I find his stuff? Where is it at? Or, like, where do you do um, it? Like, is it live? YouTube? You can Google Mr. Show. That was his sketch show, very famous, uh, like comedy cult classic with David Cross. Oh, Mr. Show with Bob and David um, came out with a Netflix special, sort of picking up where they left off. Nobody uh, cares about that one, though, right? Uh, I did. <laughs> someone, um, someone. He, <laughs> he just came out with a memoir called Comedy, 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 Drama, because most of his career has been comedy up until Breaking Bad. <laughs> he just said comedy Street. three times, but because there's an echo in here, I heard it six. Comedy, 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 Stop it. <laughs> Yeah, it was a great memoir. Highly recommend it, too. I got to see a little quick brag um, uh, at the uh, world-renowned Music Box Theater. Tim Meadows interviewed Bob Odenkirk to promote this book. And so I'd be impressed if I knew who Tim Meadows was. SNL star? Uh, What's his biggest sketch? Also another comedy actor guy. The, oh, what was, what was he? The Singing Lobster? He had a uh, SNL movie. He was in Mean oh, was Girls. He a member of he Lonely was the principal Island. In mean Girls. Does that help? The... Oh, really? I say that like I know who the principal in Mean Girls was. You would know him Can if you pull you up a him picture. Up. Oh, I do like that guy. Oh, he's really funny. Holy crap! That's yeah. what's his name? 
Tim Meadows. He lives in Chicago. I, I, I do enjoy Tim Meadows, though. Yeah. He lives in Chicago? Yeah. Him and Bob Owen Kirk must know each other. <laughs> they do, from their I old Second City do. days. Yeah. All right, maybe uh, we'll, we'll get to go out to dinner with them sometime. I would love that. All right, cool. I'll set it That'd up. Be a dream. It was great. He, Bob and Kirk, like Tim Meadows, gives like a preamble and talks about how long they've known each other and loves them very much. And Bob and Kirk, basically before even sitting down, just goes, "Hey, do you remember that sketch we did from?" Way? And just like immediately jumps into nostalgia, like Second City sketches. Wait, is that what preamble means? I only know preamble from the U.S. The whatever. Yeah, yeah. So is that mean the preamble is like before? before? Yeah, before the amble. Before, so the preamble, like the you have a preamble to your podcast, technically. Do we? Uh, what we just did? No, I think we kind of yeah. started technically. I guess maybe the asking for the word might be considered a That's preamble. You don't preamble. really hear that yeah. word used in everyday language, no. right? I went to college. <laughs> the same one as you. <laughs> what a waste of money. Yeah. Anyway, we should probably talk about the movie. Right? I'm being yeah, Ken. Well, yeah, Ken. Yeah, Ken. What You're the one supposed to keep us on track Cameron, as I try was, to derail the train. I know. I don't think you can hear me, though, so I have to stop talking. I, but, I cannot. I cannot. Uh, <laughs> I can hear you. I have very good ears. What, what was, Cameron, what was your favorite uh, part of the movie? Oh, man. Yeah, and asking the me these questions like you're supposed to be like a host of some sort. Um, you literally just told me to. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, chaos. Um... Uh, oh, so I like that. I'm always a fan of uh, maybe the underdog or the un like. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the, the you know the nerd who's actually like a freaking good basketball player. You know, like like oh man, that guy stinks at everything. And then all of a sudden he he comes on the court and goes to tryouts and everyone's making fun of him. And the next thing you know, he's like dunking on everyone. So I'm like a big fan of like like the oh you d- don't bowl. Like there's this uh this Facebook like page where it's all parts of movies where uh it's just like don't bully this guy and it's like just the clip where like the, someone gets bullied or like pushed around and then the next thing you know they get their revenge like so like i kind of like that underdog story where it's like this regular father who like his kids like oh man he's he's a nobody and uh like next thing you know he's like beating the shit out of people who are making fun of him and things like that so I think that's what resonated with me. And like any movie, I, I like that so called underdog story or whatnot. But was he was he was he an underdog though? I mean he already had that background of Well I think he's underdog because no one knew though, right? Like so it's like uh I, underdog is not the correct term. Maybe? It's more like uh I don't know the correct term. Speaking's not my forte, but like it, it, he could be uh, a perceived underdog by his. By yeah, his I say he's more kids, perceived, guess, right? like underdog, and like you know, people think he's one thing when really he's this yeah. awesome thing. Well, I, I I love the something that like came like up when you know the first scene where like two robbers come into his house, and one he's walking downstairs with no like weapon of choice. So I have a question for you guys. He eventually picks up a a uh, driver golf club that is um and like might knock someone out with it but ends up not two questions what would be your weapon of choice in your own house to have and two what do you think you would actually pick up because like you might say like okay i have a baseball bat um next to my uh bed but oh crap i got startled i went downstairs next thing you know i'm trying to gouge his eyes out with the spatula like what what would you guys want to use and what do you think you'd end up picking up using well, I mean, I want to use probably a gun, <laughs> but I don't have a gun. I'm trying to think Good. about what I would have at hand if if this were to actually happen to me. It'd probably just be like a lamp I would pick up or something. I don't know. <laughs> I I don't keep a baseball bat by my bed or anything like that. Um, I used to have a, a spy sword that uh, Matt Bronson, shout out to Matt Bronson if you remember him, uh, gave to me. Um, and I used to like, I wouldn't keep it next to my bed though. Cause I was worried I'd like do something with it and like sleepwalk or something. So I, I kept it in like a box and like underneath like all this stuff. Uh, so I think it's still there. I usually keep a baseball bat next to my bed though. So I'd probably go with that, but then find something else like to, to use. What about you, CJ? Yeah. I, I used to have a, at our old place, I had a baseball bat next to the bed cause that building, if you if somebody wanted to break in, it would have been very, very easy. Both doors had glass. So all you had to do was like throw a rock, get through the first door, throw a rock through the second door, unlock it. It would have been 
so easy. So you yeah. have pepper spray that my dad gave me, but I don't know if oh, I'd huh. use that. That'd be a good one. I, I know I've talked about this on the show before, but the the new, not the new, I don't know. I don't keep up with tactical gear, but it's, it's uh, a small whip that's this like metal handheld thing. So you're not going to like kill anybody with it, but because it's like this like metal wire thing, it'll hurt like hell if you oh. like whack somebody with it. Oh, and, and that's Emily's though, right? <laughs> yeah. That's not, that's I do yours. have a million dollar idea <laughs> now that I think about it. So like sleeping with a, a weighted blanket, might as well make that weighted blanket out of Kevlar because you want it to be heavy <laughs> and it will protect you in an invasion. Sure. Right? Yeah. Uh, All right. The coziest ever, blanket. Uh, I think it would be. A nuke. You, could, you could just hide under that and uh, <laughs> protect I think we have the something, Or I have something. Yeah. Pen pending. I have a weighted blanket. I haven't used it in forever, though. Because somebody else is not a fan of it. In the Ken, way. you're not a fan of the weighted blanket? I know you guys like to sleep yeah, together. Yeah, Ken won't I, let me I use it. <laughs> I, I, we, have a, we have a weighted blanket, um, but it, I don't know where it is, actually. We haven't used it in quite a while. It, it gets, like, tiring after a while to have that on. It's nice for, like, a little bit. But after a while, I was like, oh, God, I just want to shift my legs. We have a little more like, cushion for oh. the pushing on us, uh, Ken. Maybe that's why. A little too bony. I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> what it. was it, like 40 pounds? No, it's like 20, 25 20, maybe. Know. Yeah. Yeah. That I bought right. the max, and I think it's like 20 or 25 pounds. <laughs> I love it. I got to make a hundred pound one where you just can't move. Yeah. (laughs) You can't. Yeah. Yeah, It's like a painful to put on. Yeah. Oh, that's so comforting. I can barely breathe. (laughs) (laughs) It's just like the womb. I can't. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I would buy that too. I think that's great. All right, Ken, where do you want to take this next? (laughs) We're going to do a little on air producing. Where are we we headed next? We're going to trivia then, if you're throwing it to me. Oh, hell no. We're not going to trivia. We're not. Too See, early you, for that, you, Ken. You, you give me the reins, and then you're like, "Oh no, man, I give you the reins, the reins because <laughs> because I expect more out of you, but you give me oh jack shit." All right, we're not going there, Ken. You've lost your your hosting privileges. Jesus Christ! All right, All right as Ken, the movie continues to go on, not where you want to take it. Right, the trivia. Oh my God, who is this guy? This is about the time uh, we usually go to trivia. Just yeah, I, it is. Okay. I, I also, I, I really wish we released the videos where, because what the listeners don't know is that at some point while Cameron was talking, he just fully turned his back to me because we're in swivel chairs. And he just turned around. <laughs> wait, we're when? no longer facing me. <laughs> when did I do that? It's like ten minutes ago. Or right, wait, where was I facing? Yeah. I don't know. Well, you just started uh, slowly turned around. I didn't go way this way. I'm like a hundred percent sure I've been looking at you the whole time. It was very funny. I've been known to black out from time to time yeah. these days. You kept talking. And it was Maybe like, that's no why. I think we're like only 10 minutes in, but I blacked out for like 20, and now I'm I'm back? We're yeah, going to have to see. Well, well, we have the video, so we could roll it back and see if I do start to drift off, because I not might not remember. What, what's the time? Where are we at? We're at 25 we? minutes deep. It says right Oh, no, I didn't black out. Ken oh reminds God. me right. of the nobody guy. It's time for... <laughs> hey, did you do know that? All right, for new, lis- new listeners, this is the part of the show where we pit our guests and CJ head-to-head to see who knows the most about what we watch. Cam, CJ, are you two ready? No, I'm not ready, but I'll too bad. play along anyway. Okay. All right, I'm ready. first question. How long did Bob Odenkirk train leading up to this movie? He did most of all of his own stunts, by the way. I think it was like a, f- a full... Wait, so what do we need? Are we doing half years or full years? Or like months? Whatever, How, you, want. How Whatever you want. I say two. Two To years? one and a half. To what? Two, two One years? and a half to two years. Okay. One and a half to two years. Yeah. I was going to say it's at least over a year, I think. I'll, I'll stick with that more towards a little over a year. Cam's closest, I guess, by giving me the range that includes the answer. Uh, it's two years. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> two years? Give me the two points. Years, yeah. Yeah, he did he did all of his own stunts in this movie. So yeah, he, he really wanted to train and, and I'm pretty yeah, sure that is that, not so. true. No, it's true. I don't think so. About it. I think someone yeah, else I, did. I looked it up. I okay. think your information is false. Well they don't I cut away like, like you see him opinion. fighting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'll agree to disagree. Give me the point. You have the point. Okay, cool. All right. 
Next question. Uh, we'll see if either of you can actually get this or know the answer. Um, who can tell me what the tattoo on Hutch's wrist means? For, for a reminder, it's a seven of spades and a two of diamonds. Two cards. Do they something about now number of people he's killed? Yeah, I was going to say something answer? to do with the military. Yeah, that's my answer. Like, his like troop or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, yeah, and it's more of just an interesting fact, but I didn't know if either of you play cards, because uh, it's just statistically the worst possible starting hand you can be dealt in Texas Hold'em. So he is the oh. worst person you want to meet, basically? I think this it sums it up. There's a whole long explanation, but uh, the translation is, this man has, been, has dealt in death and violence for money. Hmm. I don't know. Next question. So I get the point. <laughs> you did not no, get that no, point. Neither, you get the point. <laughs> One other character in this movie has the same tattoo. Who was it? His father, Christopher Lloyd. Can we talk about that? Like, how awesome is that? He's in here. Martyr. Martyr. Uh, I think it was the guy that like while. saves him at the end. Oh, the or the guy that backed out. No, he wouldn't have been him. Never mind. Yeah, the sniper. Yeah, I'm staying with Christopher Lloyd. You were, you were right. Yeah, it's his dad. <laughs> David. Uh, yeah. All right. Give me the points. Give me the hot sauce. Okay. You get it. Yeah, that was pretty cool, especially at the end when, I mean, spoilers, but... Ken's totally wants me to lose. I can just see it on his face. He either wants me to lose or he wishes this whole thing was over. I can just see it across his face. I just wish we could talk in person. <laughs> oh, that would be great. You could have come <laughs> oh, on down. Come God. on down. All right, next question. Over how many days was this film uh, filmed? How, how many days was it shot for? I'm pretty sure it's 39 days. Okay. I will say 40 days. <laughs> <laughs> He's played a little prices right with me. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, Cam gets the point. 34 days. Oh, really? Dang. All right. Wow, that's quick. I'm pretty, like, this was like a pandemic movie they pushed back, right? I don't know. Was it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I think Cameron is running away with the lead. Uh, <laughs> so like, this will be the final question. This. What is the Rotten Tomatoes yeah. tomato meter score in percentage? Closest without going over, for those who don't know, that's the critic score in Rotten Tomatoes. Cameron, since you're in the lead, you go first. Oh. Huh. That's <laughs> so confident now, huh? I think I should go second because I've answered every yeah, question an first. But for going second. if I must, because I will, I will begrudgingly follow Ken's rules. Um, it's not Ken's rules. It's the rules of the show. Can it be over 100 or is that uh, not possible? I do not believe it is possible. No, no it can't. Currently. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ron, the Rotten Tomatoes. Ron. Are we talking about the critic the score, score or the? Ron he said that, didn't he? Yep. God dang it! Fifty nine. Fifty nine percent. Really? Okay. Nope. I. I nope. Since he said that, I get to change my answer. Sixty nine. Nice. Nice. CJ. Uh, well, I will say seventy because it's definitely <laughs> higher than that. that. I hope it's sixty eight. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I'm on babe. the board. But uh, Ken, you are still our winner. Two points. All right. Yeah! What do I win? Pride. That the sound effect. Yeah. Pride. Yeah. What do you guys think the audience yeah. score was on Rotten Tomatoes? What was the actual Rotten Tomatoes score? Oh, 80, of the eighty-four percent. Sorry. Oh. Huh. Audience ninety-two. Eighty-five. Uh, ninety-four. Oh wow! Yeah, Dang. people like this movie. No, it's actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I was thinking about Wrath of Man when I was answering that question, because the movies were either too similar or I had put that in my head. So I honestly was not thinking after, a, for that for that movie, like one bit. Not that it even matters. All right. right, well, we know what we're doing next week. Cameron, you'll be back on the Wrath pod. We'll do a Wrath of Man. All right. <laughs> well, we just basically, <laughs> we basically just did Wrath of Man, so I can come back and do nobody again. Was everything you were talking about up to this point about Wrath of Man, actually? <laughs> uh, my, there, there's, and... there's definitely similarities to it, <laughs> yeah. now that I think about it more clearly. Well, Cam, I think it's time for ratings. Rating. Oh, Cameron, crap. on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate Wrath of Man for you? I mean, sorry, uh, what would you rate Nobody <laughs> for you? And then also Wrath of Man. What would you I guess Wrath of Man, too. Oh, man. Why not? They've kind of been intertwined now in like, the same thing, so it kind of be a, like a combination. Um, yeah, your combined uh, score of the two. <laughs> I, I've been eating a lot of pizza lately and like mm. rating that, so like uh, I'd say it's... Uh, have you ever had Peace Pizza? 
Of course. Yeah. I give it a piece pizza score of like eight five. I say it's pretty good movie. More than a good movie, I'd say. What what is it on a uh, Domino's pizza score? Oh, on the Dom if Domino's was a ten, you're saying? I don't I don't understand the the scale to begin with. So <laughs> the I don't pizza. Know. Oh, I guess the top I don't even know my top pizza, so therefore the scale is, is just not correct. But it's definitely better than Domino's. Okay. If like this I yeah, I put it around the piece pizza. How does this compare to burn notice? Oh, yeah, burn notice? Scale. No, it's funny, as when I went on a few years ago, right? Like burn notice was like my show and I've seen a lot more television in the past five years that like the burn notice scale is no longer accurate because a <gasps> burn notice is probably around like a, a seven and yes. all these other shows are, are more. I, I couldn't even tell you what my top like show is anymore because I probably watched like eight or nine more full series since then. So huh. like the burn notice scale, like everything eventually becomes outdated so what's the new top then? Are we this <laughs> oh man, that is. Oh, what's what's that? You know, remember Curtis Conway? Oh wait, no, who's nope. the Conway guy from Mighty Ducks? Does anyone you know him? Oh, Dawson's yeah. Creek guy. He did that show with Kelly the alternative Conway? universe. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do not. Oh really? Now I think we've actually might have talked about it on this show oh, before. Really? Maybe. Well, it's been five um, years worth of Or shit, Person of Interest is really good. Person of Interest. Oh, okay. Or the FX show where it's a uh, a marshal, a U.S. marshal going around and doing shit. Justified? Justified, yes. Have you seen that? You, I'm, I'm beginning to suspect what kind of show you like. What kind <laughs> of show do I like? It's similar. Yeah. Of like, yeah. It's like one guy is kind of action and kind of works for the government, kind of uh-huh. doesn't. <laughs> Out to get bad guys. Oh, yeah. I, 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 well, I guess Justified. That's literally is burned on. But the other too. ones are like sci fi. I like sci fi <laughs> cop type. Like, yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah. There's, it, there's nothing a, wrong with that. It's no. just, yeah, I'm, I'm finding gotta, the, gotta the overlap of all these shows. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I have you down for an 8.5. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why not? Okay. Sure. Why, why not? That sounds great. If you want to simplify it down that far, fine, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> if you want to do that. <laughs> um, have I been to Peace Pizza? I have taken friend of the show Emmett Riley and Pew 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 to Peace Pizza. We, we whoa, had lunch whoa, there. Whoa. <laughs> Say that again because I didn't hear you because of the echo. <laughs> I have taken the boys in Pew 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 to Peace Pizza. Are in those Chicago. two separate bands? Pew Pew Pew? It's three. The three boys bands, and Pew Pew Pew? It, the boys, a.k.a. Pew Pew Pew. Oh, okay. I thought the boys was a separate band. That's yeah. pretty cool. That's yeah, a good fun. place. Oh, it's so good. And speaking of pew, pew, no, not pew, pew, pew. Speaking of Peace Pizza, mm-hmm. like a block or two away from there is a place called Lucia's or Lucia's. It is an amazing Italian restaurant. Like small place, white tablecloths, and uh, f- no charge to uh, BYOB with no corking fee. Ooh. So I highly oh, recommend cool. that place. Is it the kind of place that asks if you've had tapas before? Or they have to explain, like, we do small plates. Oh, no, here. they allow you to go topless. They, they wouldn't eat the poo it there. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, Bottomless, too. Oh, yeah. small plates was a lie. It's not small plate. I meant white tablecloths. Okay. I don't know why okay. I messed the two up. What do you rate it, Ken? Uh, not me? Pizza Pizza, the movie. Oh, Pizza Pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pizza Pizza. No, I no, not Pizza. Did you Are even you watch saying, the saying movie? Piece, pizza. Okay. Uh, he said heard, Pizza Pizza, which is on pizza. Western. Have you ever been to that place? Pizza, Which one? Pizza is a different pizza. place? I've Pete's. never heard of Pete's Pizza. Yeah. That's Are you funny. saying Pete's or Pete's? I'm saying Pete's with a T. Pete's. P-I-E-T-E. P-E-T-E. Yeah, like, like a Pete's sign. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pete's sign, yeah. It does have a Pete's sign love. on Pete's there. Love. A Pete's sign, yeah. Um, People are like, what the hell? If you're still listening at this point, congratulations. <laughs> you deserve a lot of prizes yeah. and a lot of alcohol. You must be drinking or smoking. <laughs> For me, the, my mind. I they won't hear you again. Nobody, nobody, yep, just they, oh through. Keep going again. <laughs> <laughs> they, stop over talking. There. Oh yeah. There uh, is the. Will they not hear this echo me, that we I hear do. this whole show? <laughs> Correct. Uh, the listener after the show, you know where I'm going. The insane asylum. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. It's not, it's not that bad. It kind of <laughs> adds to the uh, allure of this episode. It's, it's driving me insane. For me, Ken. nobody gets a seven point five. 
It's pretty good. Nice. Oh, okay. wow. That's pretty respectable for you, Ken. I feel like yeah. most... You know what you should start to do Like, is like your average ratings per person that comes on? Because I feel like yours mm. is like a four for me. So this will definitely <laughs> take it a, a bit up. Ever since oh, I yeah. went on for uh, that Jewish movie that you just bashed. It's ten crazy, Hebrew n- Hammer? crazy nights. No, I think Hebrew Hammer, the other one. A crazy, a, a, nice crazy nights. nights. Yeah, yeah, that movie nice is a pretty it's bad a technical movie. Foul. Oh, Actually, it doesn't live up to what I thought it was. So yeah, yeah, no, it was still point five. I respect but, that. Uh, yeah, uh, CJ for me. Uh, eight. <laughs> oh, I really liked it. I went back and checked my letterbox review when I saw it, and I gave it a four out of five, which equates to an eight. Oh, that that, that is statistically correct. <laughs> Thank you. Right? I know math. That's cool. I've taken maths. I'm not very good at it, but I'm I'm firm believer it's an eight point no eight point five is fine. Okay. <laughs> you gotta backtrack on your pizza yeah. scale. Eight point nine. No, it's fine. If Ken thinks it's a seven point five, then I like feel like I should be giving it like a nine point five. Maybe. Huh. Don't let my rating affect your rating. It's for you. Ah, uh, that is yeah, true. That's true. It's for you. Okay, eight point five. Okay. You convince me. All right. Uh, Cameron, if I just give you two minutes, what would you talk about? <laughs> oh, God damn it. Yeah, let's set the timer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Two minutes exactly? Yeah, go. Um, Good start. Oh, oh, I thought this when are we going to hang out in person? Okay. Well, you're doing your pizza, pizza party. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> pizza party. Yeah, I'm excited about party. that. That'll be yeah, fun. Yeah, me too. You guys got to bring... Bring your chef's hats on that day. Can okay. do. We're gonna have some We're fun. We're in it right now. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, oh man! How's that gonna work? It's a make your own pizza party. Yeah, make oh. your own pizza party. How many pizzas can you fit in your oven days. at once? Oh, I can fit a lot of pizzas in my oven. Okay. Um, and is that a like two? I'll probably make some <laughs> pizza like before, just to like have and as a backup. As a backup, you know, you never That's know. Smart. But yeah, I think you could put like. You make a more personal size, so you could put four in there. Like I, I think oh, like twelve uh, inch. Or it could always be like a few people make one, and then we cut them up into like smaller plates, and like we just eat pizza literally all freaking night and drink. So I mean, nice. I think it'd, uh, yeah, yeah. there'll be no problem with that. You'll have enough food and uh, drink to go around, and I think with anything, I think it's just more fun to get together with people. It's something I haven't done enough of in the past. Two, three years these days now. <laughs> yeah. yeah so what, what are we looking at? 30 more seconds? <laughs> yeah, for I can finish the end of, end of my synopsis What's for the, the movie. What's the worst pizza place really... you've ever been to? Oh, it used to be Emo's, which is a St. Louis place that has Proval cheese. And like oh, when, yeah. when I was 14, I went there for a soccer tournament. I thought it was the worst thing ever. But I went huh. back in my older age, and I freaking loved it now. So I guess that's not the worst pizza I've ever had. I really don't like DiGiorno's. I think it's absolute crap. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I, I don't, I'm not a big dough guy anymore. I, li- I like the th- thin tavern style. The tavern like style? Pizza. Chicago. So. All these jabronis out there think Chicago's deep dish, but it's really the tavern style. And, uh, yeah. Uh, was that a little like... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Polish in there, there or cousin like that. just dropped by. Is that what? Yeah, it sounded like cousin Mike there. That was weird. Uh, cousin who? Mike. Mike. Cousin Mike Ditka. Cameron, are you familiar oh, with this cousin? Mike Ditka. Oh, I am familiar with this cousin. He likes the sausage. I think you dressed up as him for a 5K at one point. Oh, yeah. well, I think we all did, didn't we? Yeah. We all no, did. Yeah. I mean, you looked exactly you like him. Yeah, you yeah, smoked yeah. a out. cigar. Oh, yeah, yeah. cool. He smoked a cigar. That was fun. That was. I, I still tell that story to so that many people. A, that was a fun one. That was a fun run. Uh, do they still do those kind of things around the Chicago parts? I'm thinking they do. Yeah, we gotta do one yeah. of those. Probably not for him anymore. I hope. Who yeah, for Mike Dicker? Yeah, he's not a great guy. He's not. No, not really. I don't. Do, I know he had a heart attack. Maybe that's why I thought. Browse his Wikipedia about. page one of these days. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not great. Uh oh. What do you know about Mike Dicker? On his Wikipedia page. Oh, <laughs> you know that's not a trustworthy source. Yeah, that's pretty true. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty trustworthy. What does it say? Um, well, I... Bye. <laughs> this episode of the Overtalking Podcast was edited and produced by Ken and CJ. Special guest this week was Cameron. Music by Justin Peters. Logo by Nate Richards. Check out Nate's work on Instagram at Nate Richards Designs.